Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Deep Free and welcome back to the latest Dragon Ball Super episode review in which today we'll be reviewing episode number 40 of Dragon Ball Super. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this shit started. So the episode kicks off with the conclusion of the battle between Goku and Hit. As you saw at the end of the last episode, they were in a beam struggle. Apparently Goku, my understanding of it is without rewatching the previous episode 39, is um, Goku was uh, on the way to punch Hit and at that point according to hit he improved his time leap ability further which allowed him to evade the hit and then from there yeah you know he was able to get out of that whole sticky mess so basically when the dust settles and it clears up these guys are both standing on Shampa and Beerus's huge ass freaking mural pictures you know and I call it bullshit because I, that shit should be out of the ring like get the hell out of here you know they're like oh that's still part of the ring I was like ah no 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 that's a fucking big ass picture unnecessarily big ass picture like get out of here but anyways you know they were still in the ring quote unquote so basically they went back to fighting and hit was like no 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 no. i am now faster i've out i've well, he said i was able to improve my time leap further and then he just starts unleashing a massive barrage on goku and at this point goku gets knocked back and he's like wait a minute um, you know, he, he knocks back, he's about to fall down and he gets back up and he's like, okay, you know, they do a little bit more exchanging. And, you know, at that point, Goku stops and he's like, okay, hold on a second. Beerus, can we get rid of the rules? He's like, can we just get rid of the rules? That's typical Goku, something you would totally expect Goku to say, something he's already said before, you know, things of that nature, those stupid things, you know, he's just like, oh, no, 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 no. let's just get rid of the rules, because apparently Hit isn't able to fight at his full capacity, which, honestly, it kind of makes things a little weird for Hit, because I was under the impression before that Goku was kind of pushing him to his limits, which would then further his improvement. But if he's not really being pushed to his limits because he has to hold back because he can't use techniques that would go with killing because he can't kill. And the old Kai says that's where he gets mainly all of his power, you know, his ability to fight a certain way, which would allow him to kill people. But he can't do that here in this tournament. So that means he's kind of holding back a little bit, which means Hit isn't getting pushed to his limits. So I don't know what it is. It's just kind of weird. I'll drop a video on that with the rail to rail at some point this week but basically you know they they're like okay let's just get rid of the rules and everybody's like wait a minute hold on hell no and then shop is like oh great sportsmanship yeah let's go ahead and do it and that's when bears comes up he's like no 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 we're not doing that and shop's like you don't want to do it because it'll give me the advantage and shop and bears was like well we agreed on all these rules initially which is very true uh and then while this is happening you know a little bit before this, Shampa actually was pissed off for a second because Hit just was like disregarding everything he was saying. He was trying to give him the play by play. He was like, oh, Goku's Kaioken won't last very long. And Kaba steps in like, oh, Hit's pride won't allow him to do that. And Shampa got pissed off. He was about to blow Hit uh, Kaba into smithereens at that point. And he was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this shit straight right now, okay? I'm the god of destruction and you guys are all pawns in this game between me and Beerus. And then at that point, Goku and and Hit heard that shit, and they looked at Champa. he fell back on his ass. You know, this was a few minutes prior to the whole, let's remove the rule shit. So, the reason I wanted to backtrack and explain that is because, at this point, while they're arguing Beerus and Weesar in the sky, Goku's like, ah, uh, we're just pawns. And Hit's like, we're just pawns. And Goku's like, well, for now, we're just pawns. And he was like, you know, I really want to fight you again. So, what Goku does is he goes and he walks his ass out of the ring. He gives up the fight. He's like, fuck it. You know, he just gives up the entire fight at that point. And he comes back in and I was like, well, honestly, that was a huge fuck you to Beerus and Shampa, you know, and that was actually really cool because they were like, oh, you're pawns, but your pawns are not listening to you. So they're really not pawns. You know, that was really, really cool how they did that. And Goku goes back to the, the area where the rest of the competitors are and Beerus is pissed off as you know he would be. And Goku's like, oh, well, I would have lost anyway. You spent too much time arguing. My Kaioken was about to run out. As soon as Goku basically gave up the match and released his power he his whole body just started cringing you know his muscles were becoming engrossed and everything like that you can see that the kaioken put a massive strain on his body as it's supposed to do that's what the kaioken does and goku even says i'm gonna have to stay away from the kaioken for a while after this which is interesting you know getting into the next arc if they have stronger villains he's not going to use the kaioken which would kind of put a power gap on him or a power cap on him excuse me which is interesting too that means that you know because like i said 10 times kaioken 
it, that's ridiculously powerful. I mean, you're basically saying Goku's the strongest person in the ca- the strongest character in the series for a period of time. So, you know, they're taking that away from him, which is a bit of a handicap, which is all right. I'm cool with that. But basically from there, they say, all right, don't worry about it. We still got Monaka and Monaka is savage. Yo, Monaka is a savage. He's a savage. He's a savage. The best character so far. He gets up. This guy walks up to the thing. He's about to jump off the cliff to go down to the ring. He's sitting there shaking in his boots. He's just fucking terrified out of his ass so he steps in the ring he walks up to hit he uh matter of fact he he nose dives literally when he jumps off the cliff to get into the ring he literally nose dives and that shit was hilarious as fuck he looked all graceful spinning in the air and twirling in the air and he falls down and he just face first face plants it but he walks up to hit and it's like oh i get it i see what's going on here because he could tell he's a freaking fraud so at that point you know, Monaka's the fight starts and Monaka takes a swing at Hit with his eyes closed and Hit pulls a Goku versus Hercule back in like episode 14. And it's hilarious too because it was a delay. You know, after the hit, there's a solid like 10 second delay. He's just still sitting there. And then he just flies out of the ring. Ah! You know, so he clearly threw the fucking match. And, you know, he did that to get back even with Goku because Goku obviously threw the match when, you know, he was having a good match with him. But from there, what happens is Shampa is just pissed off. He literally is about to blow up everybody and Goku's sitting there from afar like, hold on, I got to intervene. And he's thinking that to himself and Beerus is like, hold on, you're in no position to intervene. This is where shit gets interesting. He's like, no, you're in no position. And Champa's like, exactly. We let you guys get the spotlight for a while, but understand we're the ones that make the rules here. And I was like, damn, <laughs> learn the pecking order, yo. God damn, Popo is here. Goodness. And like, you know, we make all the rules and... And at that point, this guy steps into the ring and Vados is the first to spot him. She's like, Shampa Sama. He just keeps talking, Shampa Sama. He just keeps talking, Shampa. He's like, what? He's like, oh, look in the ring. And then Beerus and Shampa both look in the ring and they both just like, oh, shit. And they're like, oh, that's the king of everything. So, you know, it's just this tiny little guy, total Toriyama humor there. But in the next episode, we'll get a little insight as to who that guy is. And we will also see the dragon god, blue eyes, white dragon, you know, the dragon god Zarama, apparently. Uh, total blue eyes rip off from what I saw. Anyways, we'll see that guy. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know your favorite part from the episode. Really, the last episode was a lot better. This one was just kind of, once again, like I, I could tell by the way that they did the last episode with like the music placement and the theme song coming in in the middle of the fight. Like this was going to be like nowhere near as good because the climax of that fight was over already. And this was just kind of the, the ending of the battle, you know, the conclusion. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next week with the next review for episode 41. That is it for me, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.